Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to talk about a newer bait on the market. It is not brand new, but this is the first time I've been able to get my hands on it. And that is the Chatterbait Mini Max. It is an awesome looking bait and I am super excited to put this thing to the test over this year. I have many different ideas of where this might work better than a regular Chatterbait. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the gear you need to fish this, the types of trailers and colors you want, as well as the selection on the bait. So stay tuned and let's get right into it. So I have been a Chatterbait lover for years. I absolutely love throwing a Chatterbait. It works amazing up here in our Northeast fisheries. We get a lot of grass growth. We get a lot of milfoil and we have a lot of fish that feed on bluegills and perch. And the chatterbait does an amazing job of not only fishing in that type of cover, but also imitating that type of forage. However, everybody else knows that as well and also throws a chatterbait. So these fish see tons and tons of chatterbaits. They see a lot of jackhammers, they see a lot of other chatterbaits that aren't jackhammers, and these fish have just grown accustomed sometimes to that sound of that chatterbait and the size of it particularly. I've been a big believer in the past couple years of throwing baits that are smaller but do the same thing. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love the Ike's mini flip jig. It is a flipping jig, but it's about half the size of a regular flipping jig and I'll put a really small trailer on it and it gets me a ton of bites when they might only catch one or two with a full size flipping jig. I have a feeling that the Mini Max is going to come in play and do the exact same thing in the grass when going up against other guys throwing chatterbaits all the time and using the full size ones. There's a couple other scenarios that I think they'll play in as well, which we'll talk about here shortly. But right off the bat, the size difference on this chatterbait is insane. I don't have a trailer on this one yet, but you can see directly side by side that the difference in size is like two inches. I mean, it's a big difference between the size and these chatterbaits. So the Chatterbait Mini Max has a couple things smaller about it. The blade being one of them, it is much smaller and it's going to put off a much subtler vibration as well. So a lot of times when they feel that heavy vibration, this is going to put a different vibration alone just because of the blade size and can get you some more bites that way. But they didn't skimp on the hardware like some of the Chatterbait Minis used to do. They had much less quality components on it. If you were fishing it on bait casters, you'd bend out the clips and stuff like that. And it just didn't really do what it needed to do as a chatterbait. However, on the Mini Max here, you have the same head style, you have the same blade and a good snap here. And then what they do on the skirt is similar to what they do on the Ike's Mini Flip. And they use the finesse cut skirt material. It has a different flow to it, has a different appearance, and it's much thinner and shorter then they have a really good quality two-aught hook in it as opposed to a five-aught hook in the jackhammers. I love throwing a two-aught hook on my little finesse swim baits for smallmouth and stuff like that. So I think this is gonna be an awesome hook and size for what I'm trying to do here. And then it has a double barbed keeper. Make sure your bait stays on there really, really well. So for starters, let's talk about the gear that I have this set up on. My favorite chatterbait rod, I've talked about this in a few videos, it is a composite rod. It's part graphite, it's part glass. It allows the tip to allow the action of the bait to snatch it out of the grass. And most importantly for the fish to actually get the bait when it bites it, but it has that graphite backbone to rip the bait free and to actually set the hook very well and keep these fish hooked. So this rod right here is my Kistler Feel and Reel. This is the 7.3 medium heavy, you could go to the 7.3 medium since this is a smaller bait, but I'm gonna go with the 7.3 medium heavy. I like the extra backbone to be able to rip baits free. And I also just use this for regular chatter baits as well. So instead of having two combos, I just have one. I use it for all my chatter bait fishing and that's pretty much all I ever use this rod for. It is an amazing rod. This is the Feel and Reel series and I will link it below if you wanna check this rod out. You can see this one along with the other ones that are in the Feel and Reel series there and find the one that fits best for you if you're interested in it. I have this paired up with a Luz, just a regular speed spool here. And then I have 15 pound test fluorocarbon on here. You probably could go down to 12 on this chatterbait, but I, like I said, I use this for my other chatterbait fishing as well. So I have 15 on here. I'll use it for regular chatterbaits or I'll use it for the little mini that we have here to give that a shot. 
I don't want to go up to 20 like I usually do for regular chatter baits because I feel like that will kill the action of the bait and it will not let it get down deep enough just because that line's a little too big. Uh, but if you do feel comfortable with 20, you could go up to that. But I'm mostly going to run just 15 pounds straight fluorocarbon for this bait. And then as for your bait selection, I went with two colors and two sizes just to get me started, some of my favorites, and just to give this a try. And then I will probably branch out depending on how much I like this bait and how often I use it. Number one, I went with half ounce and three eighth ounce. I got green pumpkin. You have to have that up here in the Northeast. They feed on bluegills. That's what this is gonna imitate. So I went with the green pumpkin, just plain. I can alter it with the trailer color if I want to, um, or I can just fish a green pumpkin trailer. And that's gonna be my probably go-to 75% of the time. And then specifically when I'm fishing for those river fish, or when I know they're feeding on bait fish, I'm gonna to go to the white. I just got the regular pearl white, three eighths and half ounce as well. And then I have trailers to go with these, which I'll show you here in just a second. But that would be where I would start white and green pumpkin, imitates bluegills, imitates shad, you're good to go, and then 3 8 and half ounce size to allow you to do some different stuff there, get it down deeper or keep it up shallower and feather it through the cover. Uh, they do have all the other co colors like Firecraw and black and blue and all that kind of stuff, but like I said, I just wanted to give this one a shot, never used it before. I'm a big fan of the Jackhammers and the Chatterbait Elites but I've never used the Mini Max because I've never been able to get my hands on them. Now as for trailers with this bait, that's the tough part. The hook's not very big and you don't want something that's gonna overpower the bait. My number one go-to chatterbait trailer, the Yamamoto Zacco, will not be effective on this bait whatsoever. So I had to find some new ones. That Yamamoto Zacco would just be way too big. It would basically be a swim bait with a touch of skirt material on it. And it would probably be too big for the hook and you'll lose fish because you won't be able to get a good hook set. So the number one that I've seen recommended most often and the one that I'm gonna try first is going to be the Z-Man Baby Goats. Um, it is similar to a Rage Menace type grub where it has these two little kicking feet and it is a very small body, that's gonna be the one that I'm gonna start with and I'm gonna rig it actually upright so that both the claws are in an upright position. It'll look like a tail kind of swimming through the water a little bit. And if I wanted to, I could also rig it flat and when you do that, it will come over logs a little bit better because it has a flat uh, base that it can, instead of just coming over and rolling over into the log, it can kind of flutter its way over a log. So depending on the type of cover I'm fishing, I may rig it flat, but most often, especially in the grass, I'm probably just gonna rig it upright like that. That's gonna be the best way to do it. One other trailer that I think might be effective on this bait that I have not tried or heard of yet, I'm not a big swim bait fan on my chatter baits because they never quite swim right when it's on the bait. But like I said, I'll use a two-aught hook for finesse swim baits all the time, and it's a very effective technique for me to catch smallmouth. So I have these six cents uh, divine swim baits. These are the 3.2 size, so the smallest one they make. Um, I got them in white, and I think they might work pretty well on the back of this trailer as well. And we will give these a shot compared to the baby goats. Give them both a shot. They both have their own place that they would work. Like I said, if you're fishing logs, this baby goats would probably allow it to roll over the logs and not get snagged as easily. And also that twin tail rigged vertically would really look like a bluegill swimming through the grass or something like that. Um, and depending on how these act on the back of a chatterbait, I know you can rig them upside down and do stuff like that, but these might also be an excellent choice as well. If you wanna check these out, I'll link them down below as well. You can use my code and save 10%. Leave that down in the description. But those are gonna be the two trailers that I'm gonna go with. So not only do I think this is going to be an excellent bait for fishing through the grass in the early spring when everyone else is throwing a jackhammer, you can throw something different than everybody else and get some extra bites. The other place that I really think this is gonna play, I fish the Pittsburgh rivers a lot. I fish the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela. And in those rivers, we have a lot of tiny bait fish that the smallmouth feed on. We also have a lot of tiny fish. They only get about 12 inches long, 13 inches long, and a one or two pounder is a big fish in the rivers here. I think this is going to be an excellent choice to mimic those small bait fish but still be able to power fish a little bit and catch some of those smaller fish knowing that I don't get very big fish in the rivers here. 
I think it's gonna help me target some smaller fish better than maybe throwing a full-size chatterbait. In the rivers here in Pittsburgh, we get eelgrass growth in the summertime. And when that eelgrass grows, those little bait fish will go straight to that eelgrass. It allows them a place that they can hide from predators, and it also has some food for them there. Oftentimes it's also out of the current and it's easier for them to survive. There's very few baits that you can fish through that eelgrass and actually catch smallmouth that are only a pound, two pound, and still be able to catch numbers. I think this is going to be an awesome choice. It's a very finesse profile and comes through the grass really easy than like a finesse swim bait. I could throw a finesse swim bait around that grass, but if I throw it in the eelgrass, it's gonna get hung up. Where I could rip it out of the eelgrass with this, be able to cause a reaction bite and actually catch more fish and still have a small profile working its way through that eelgrass. So I think there's a few different scenarios where this is actually gonna catch a ton of fish. I have those two in mind, but I'm also gonna be using it in a bunch of other scenarios to truly find out how effective this bait can be. Knowing how much I've fallen in love with that Ike's mini flip jig and how effective just downsizing the bait that you're using when everyone else is throwing the same thing, I'm sure this is gonna get the nod more often than not, and I'm really gonna become a fan of this bait over the course of this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about the new Chatterbait Mini Max. If you don't have any, run out and grab some. I think they're gonna be deadly this year. We'll do some more videos on this as I actually get to testing it and find out where this performs the best, and we'll do some more tip videos on it. But in the meantime, if you wanna learn more about how to fish a chatterbait, go ahead and check this video out right here, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like so you don't miss any more of my fishing videos coming up.